Welcome back to Fear 2. Let's see what good old Keegan's up to. Just trying to remember what guns I actually have. How do I play this game? Oh, look, it's the, it's the old movement code again. Look at this. Just gonna slide down almost all the way. Wee, 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 Wee. It takes a replica soldier two years to mature and two more years to complete programming and tactical training. Within the next decade, Armagam expects to reduce this time even further with improvements in genetic imprinting and breakthroughs in direct neural data transmission. Wait a minute, did it just go back? Son of a... Son of a replicated soldier. Ooh, things. I'm just gonna stay on this, though. I don't know what the hell that noise was. Was there a jump scare that I missed? Ow. I see the light. Keegan doesn't, though. He has his back to it. I don't want to... I want to jump off. I don't want to go down the ladder. It's so slow and it's disturbing and disorientating. Jump Oh No! Alright, this has got to be possible. Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, listen to the beautiful song of the zombie. The song of his people. Let's try this gun, just for fun. Wait a minute, what? There's a couple of invisible ones just hanging out in midair. You see that?
Um, I guess they spawned and they're waiting for their script to start? Oh my god, I just realized I have so much ammo for this weapon. Look at that. Over 200 shots. No, you didn't. You just groaned at me like a zombie. Some long-range combat is up and coming, I think. Oh yes, I'm going to be assaulted from all sides, aren't I? Ooh, and there's a sniper. Well, there was a sniper. I don't actually think he's gonna die. Missile launcher. What guns do I have? I still have this. Yeah, I still got this. Alright, so what do I need to do? Uh, I need to get up there, and I just... Went past it.
Why am I burning? Why am I on fire? No, you don't. Don't throw that grenade. Tricky bastard. Alright, I want my armor back. Look what you did, Alma. You messed up all these boxes. Someone's gonna have to clean this up. She never thinks of anyone else. So selfish. So Alma's just going to keep showing up and m mash C to stop naked Alma from doing what? 
strangling me? I don't even know what she's trying to do. And it's gonna happen again. Right? One more time. No? I'm surprised. Oh, no. Of course. Almas closing in. You won't be able to resist. It's snowing. It's a winter wonderland. I thought snow fell from the sky. I didn't know it went sideways. That's her favorite swing. We Just like old times. Do you want to play with me? I'll push. Could have used your help there, buddy. Just sitting with a gun up there and didn't even help me. Thanks. Talk to me, Manny. How are you holding up? Well, they don't seem very coordinated. It's definitely not organized enough. Uh, all right, they're all just showing up to that one. This music is really awesome.
thought I couldn't see you, did you? He just exploded. So did he. I guess Morales is actually helping me. God damn, Beckett! You were a bad motherfucker, I'll tell you that. Right through here. Damn it! Hey, Stokes. The panel must have taken a hit in the fight. Can you open this door from where you are? I think so. Give me a minute. Keep your head down! Open fire! Stokes, make it quick! Looks like we've got some late arrivals to the party. Beckett, get on the turret and see what you can do! <laughs> this music. Yeah. The Snake Fist theme song. I got more of you. It's a fuck now. This game definitely knows it's ridiculous. I love it. Oh, you're not oh I died. It's okay, just means we get to hear the song again. Snake Fist! Where? Where are you? 
Man, it's good to see you. Oh, there you are. I didn't know if you'd make it. Hell, I didn't think we were gonna make it. Oh, I thought there'd be secrets around here. Let's get this over with. Alfred wasn't sure what will happen when Alma shows up. I hope it's not one of those horror movie things where she reads your mind and uses your deepest fears against you. That would suck. Whatever happens, I just want you to know... Nobody else could have done what you did today, Beckett. If we get out of this, it's because of you. You're right. No one else could have done it. Because... This entire game is scripted and I'm the hero. You're just a side character. I'm sorry. What a fucking day! Yeah. I know, it'll take some time to come to terms with. Do you know what happens to side characters in horror movies? And horror games? They live happily ever after. You'll be fine, don't worry. Meantime, we defend against waves of enemies. Get in the chair and I'll strap you in. Or, oh no, I'm gonna have some fun time with Alma, aren't I? You sure you want me to get in? Is this safe? Well, I am the main character. to do. But Beckett's not strong enough without the amplifier. She'll absorb him. And then we'll lock them away. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Without Alma, I don't have any leverage. Without leverage, I don't have a future. I can't believe this. The city's a smoldering ruin and you're worried about your fucking resume. Listen. No, you listen. We're doing this Halford's way. We're gonna kill this bitch. <sighs> I'm bored. I'm sorry it came to this. Can we get on I with really this? Am. I'm not a bad person. I just don't have a choice. You have a date with destiny, Sergeant Beckett. Let's not keep her waiting. Hey. What's going on? Can you please go kill her? And uh, maybe bring her back to life?
I don't have a lot of confidence in the accuracy of those numbers. Why doesn't she want me? Cause you're hideous! Fucking demon creature? Alright, let me see if I can predict this. So, boss man is going to randomly appear when I walk around, I have to shoot him and then he goes poof, and then finally when he's low on health there's going to be some sort of a quick time event, mash C, and then we're done. Let's see if I guess that right. Sorry, let me change my order of events. He spawns randomly, I run around and try to shoot him, and then I die. And then I load, and then I do it again, and this time I actually don't die. And then I mash C. Alright, this is better than the sniper rifle. And mesh. I you only care about you. Out of medkits. Ah, shit. Quickly. Uh, is she having sex with me? What the fuck is happening? Is Elma mind fucking me? I don't think pregnancy works that way. <laughs> okay. You know, 
I did actually play through Fear 3, at least the co-op campaign. And, um, that just reminded me. Pregnant Alma. Right, that is a thing, isn't it? I totally forgot. Anyway, a uh, quick summary. I'm trying to think of whether I enjoyed Fear 2 more than the original Fear. I don't know. In some ways it's better and in some ways it's worse. So... It's, um... It, I mean, it's obviously better, better looking. It's a newer game. It looks really nice. And the sound design has also gotten a really nice upgrade. Which is great. The gunplay is pretty fun, but I didn't enjoy it quite as much as the original. And a lot of that is down to the fact that they kind of ruined the shotgun. It was one of the coolest weapons in the original Fear, but now it's just terrible for anything except taking out uh, close melee-only monsters. Which, that kind, of, uh, that kind of an enemy only came up occasionally. So for the most part, the shotgun was useless. Which was really sad. It was so good originally. And same with the Penetrator. Which they renamed to... I don't even remember what they renamed it to. Same with that. It wasn't nearly as accurate. Before, it used to be a weapon where if you were a sharpshooter, as I think I was, I think I was really good at aiming with it. If you were a sharpshooter, you could just nail people right in the head. Rather, literally. And it was incredibly accurate, and it was just really fun to use. But in this case, it's just way less accurate and so it just didn't feel as fun to use. It's still relatively satisfying, the noise that it makes, and it still shoots bolts through people and sticks them to walls and ceilings and stuff, which is, you know, quite a bit of fun, but yeah, I feel like they ruined some of the weapons. Or at least just made them feel much, much worse to use. Which was sad. One thing I really like about it, though, is how incredibly self-conscious it is of its ridiculousness. Because the original fear was silly. I mean, it, it was this kind of... A pa it was basically a power, fan a power fantasy game where you can go in slow motion and just shoot everybody in the head. But it also tried to do horror at the same time. It tried to do horror while giving you massive amounts of power, which is just a ridiculous combination and it doesn't work. You can't make a game at the same time give you tons of power and say, you're powerful, have fun with it. And then also say, this game is scary. It tried to do it, and it completely failed. The horror was just... came across as utterly ridiculous. But it it felt like it was trying to take itself seriously. It felt like it was really trying to be a horror game, but it didn't seem to realize that, that it couldn't be. So it just came across as completely ridiculous. But this one... Although it does still have some of that horror stuff, and it still comes across as pretty ridiculous, this time it's actually completely self-conscious of the fact that it's ridiculous. Which I love. It just has fun with it. All the snarky dialogue from your... your comrades and stuff. Like at the beginning, your comrade, I think it was Keegan, right? Joking about how you're a crazed maniac blowing up a... like breaking and blowing up everything around you for no good reason. It's just very self-referential, and then, I mean, come on, the turret section with the Snake Fist song? <laughs> that was amazing. It knows it's ridiculous, which I really appreciate. When you're self-conscious of that fact, it makes the difference between eye-rolling, this is silly, and, like, I'm into this, this is fun. It really makes the difference. So I was really happy to see that. One thing that really surprised me about Fear 2 compared to the original is how sloppy the movement felt. Because the original fear felt like uh, the movement felt very precise. And I mean the movement in terms of the character's actual movement in the world, and also just like where you're looking. So both your mouse and, you know, WASD and jump and all that. Just your overall character's movement was very precise in the original fear. And interestingly, it was actually quite slow. Because in the original fear, you could never really sprint. Your run was actually surprisingly slow. So you never moved particularly fast. But it was very precise. Both the aiming and the character's movement. But in Fear 2, it just isn't. It's not precise at all. And there's, I think, two big reasons for that. And maybe a third kind of minor one. I think the biggest reason is the weird sort of mouse acceleration kind of issue. From from what I gathered online, it's not actually literally mouth, uh, mouse acceleration. It's some other problem. 
related to frame rate. But it has the same feel as mouse acceleration regardless. And it can't really seem to be fixed. I mean, from what I saw online, people said if you turn on VSync, it fixes the mouse acceleration issue because it locks your frame rate to 60 and apparently that solves everything. But I tried that and it didn't. And even if it did fix it, it would only introduce another problem because when you turn on VSync, that introduces input lag. So it's a question of what do you want more? Uh, a mouse acceleration type issue or input lag? That's... you lose either way, regardless of which one you pick. And it's really sad to see that, and it's really annoying. And surprising, because this is made by the same developers that made the original Fear, and the original Fear didn't have this issue. So, same developers, making the same sort of game, with a newer and better engine, I would assume, and yet the input is vastly worse than the original? Why? I don't know, but it's really sad to see. Especially in a game where precise aiming and quick reflexes are so important. I mean, it's a freaking FPS. You've really got to have your controls nailed down. And another reason why the controls felt kind of floaty is also the sprint. So the original Fear did not have a sprint, but this game does have a sprint. However, it's terrible. It lasts like two seconds. It's the, the shortest freaking sprint ever. Like, your guy is incredibly out of shape. He runs for two seconds and then he's panting and out of breath and he can't sprint anymore. But it's not just that it's short, which makes it kind of weird, but it actually feels horrible to use. It's, um, it, it's like a sticky sprint. It's the wor- I'm not kidding, it's the worst feeling sprint I've ever played in a game, ever. I've never felt a sprint that felt this bad. Normally for sprint, you hold down shift, if you're using mouse and keyboard. Typically you hold down shift, your character goes faster. You let go of shift, your character goes back to normal speed, right? And with pretty much instant transitions between those two states. Not the case here. It's a sticky sprint. You basically hold down sprint for a tiny amount of time, and your character will stay sprinting for, like, half a second to a second after you let go. So, if you press sprint and you try to sprint in a direction, like you're trying to sprint to cover, for example. So you're sprinting behind a box, sprinting into cover, and then you let go of your movement key and you let go of shift, your character will keep going. Like, you're stuck moving forwards. It feels so bad. It's ridiculous. That's why I almost never used Sprint in the entire game, except for when I'm just trying to get to the next objective and there's no enemies around, then I might use Sprint. But I almost never used it because it's sticky and it stays on and it just feels horrible. And the third kind of... Uh, much more minor thing about the controls, but... Um, when you go to go over a certain... Like, if you go to go over a railing, for example, there's actually an animation where your character, like, puts her hand down and, you know, vaults over it. And the original Fear didn't have that. You just jumped over a railing, just like normal. There was no animation or anything like that. You retained full control of your character. And it's little details like that that take away the feeling of control from the character. I mean, I get why they have a vault animation, because it looks cool and it's cinematic, and yes, it's not very realistic to just jump up onto a railing and literally have your feet just standing on a railing as you're going over it. It doesn't make much sense. You, you know, a person would never actually really stand on a rail. They would be on one side or they would jump over to the other side. So I get why it's there, but it doesn't feel good. Because it takes away control from your character as you're jumping over. So yeah, they really fumbled the controls. I think that even bothered me more more than the ruining of the shotgun and the partial ruin, ruining of the penetrator. Just the controls felt bad. Which is particularly horrible for an FPS. So it's definitely a mixed bag. It looks better. It sounds a lot better. It's very self-aware, which is awesome. It's really, It's actually really funny. Doesn't take itself seriously, which I love. But they kind of ruined some of the guns, and... The controls are pretty garbage. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention the fact that they made it so you can't bind mouse 4 and 5, even though you could in the original Fear. Which was really annoying and led to me binding... What did I bind? I think I bound C to melee or something. It's really awkward. So, yeah, definitely a mixed bag. I enjoyed it, though. Had a fun time. I certainly enjoyed it more than the two expansions for the original Fear. 
I think I maybe even enjoyed it more than the original Fear. Despite the issues, I think I liked its zaniness. Alright, well, one question on my mind, and it may be on yours, is... Do I intend to play Fear 3? I don't know. I actually don't know. So, as I mentioned before, I did actually play through Fear 3, the co-op campaign. Which, actually, you can find those videos on my on my channel, by the way. I posted them a long time ago, though. And I'm sure they weren't very good. So, <laughs> they're, they're probably complete garbage. They're probably back from a time when I wasn't very good at making videos. However, they are there. And, well, here's a couple things I know. Well, here's one thing I know about Fear 3. It's one of the least... No, it's definitely the least liked in the Fear series. It was not made by Monolith, and most people did not seem to like it at all. Now, I actually really enjoyed it in co-op, playing it with my brother. It was actually a lot of fun. But the question on my mind is... The co-op campaign, is it the same campaign as a single-player campaign? So if I play through the single-player campaign on my own now, would I just be playing through the same thing I did as in co-op, except this time it's just me instead of two people? Because if it's the same thing, then I don't really want to replay it. If it's something different, then maybe? But people say the game is garbage, so I don't know if it's worth it. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some research, but... Definitely don't expect me to play Fear 3. Because I'm just not sure if I will. Alright. Well, that has been Fear 2. I hope you enjoyed, thank you for joining me, and thanks for watching.